the general idea of the conference is really interesting because to to say that we should kind of basically start again and say re let's relook at economics, let's see what makes sense, what doesn't make sense, let's work out what we should have thrown out. Because I mean, as someone said, the, we, we haven't really thrown anything out as economists. We've we've added new ideas, but we've never said well which things should we get rid of, which things should finally be out of the way. And so we're finally saying, well, there are some of these things that are probably not worth considering. And there are some old ideas that we haven't thought about for a while we should bring back in. And I think that's a really interesting idea. In some ways, the, the crisis has been a bit depressing as a student, because before the crisis, most students thought the, the economics we were learning seemed a bit unrealistic, but the professors thought it was fine. And since the crisis, the professors still continue to teach it. And so we think it's, it's kind of a shame that even after some of the models have been proved to be completely meaningless, we still seem to learn a lot of this. And it's not obvious that a professor has an incentive to change a lecture course that they've been teaching for 10 years just because there's now a new state of the world. If they can get away with teaching the same thing, you know, I, I can see why I would teach the same thing. And in some ways, when you know that all the papers are written in, in this language and have this kind of model, it's still, there's a use in understanding what's going on, if nothing else, as a kind of history lesson. So this is how people used to think. But I think it is time to start saying, at least for part of our lecture course, we should start teaching you things that now fit the new world that we think we're in rather than focusing only on the stuff that now seems to not be true.